Hello, everybody. I'm here with Z, as he's yes, affectionately hello. known. Good timings, everyone. Zelly is bumping in for shedding in, or just Z for short. I come here to Cold Water Steampunk on its 10th anniversary. Congratulations, Bear. Thank Steampunk. you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, we have here a time machine of some sort that I am not necessarily used to because I got one on my back, which That's is a right. very That's... different design, but also works very differently. Okay, now, so tell us a little bit about yours. Well, mine, what I attempted to do anyways, was to take a timeline, like a string, and then from going to one end to the other, instead of trying to zoom myself through, the particles might not make it all the way through, this, that, and the other. I tried to bend the time string like I a loop. I see, get, I get, see. Get the clo pieces closer to each other, right? I see. And then make see. a little hop from here to there. Except when I tried to do the jump, I didn't land on that one. I landed on a different string. Oh. So instead of a time machine, I made a timeline displacement mecha. Can you do a twirl so I can see it? Yeah, sure. Awesome! Awesome! I got to put it on low power just to show it working. Oh, wow! That's amazing! Yeah, so we have the uh, the charging units over here, the, uh, the adjuster right in the middle. We're not going to adjust too much right now. No, no, we don't want you to take off. No, no, no. And then the uh, the core engine's on the inside, but we can't take a look at that or else this will happen. Okay, <laughs> okay, yes, yes. All right, so give a wave. Yes, see you around, everyone. Until next time, when? Sounds good.